Gerard and I met here, actually, at the Gas Gallery and Studio, thanks to Rick and Mika. And at the time, Gerard was actually a partner with Rick and Mika. And um, he, they, they had an opening exhibition and invited artists to come. And we were both part of the show, right, Rick? Oh, Rick's here, by the way. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, Rick. And so um, we came in here, we, we met. My father had just died. I started talking to him about death. He started to talk to me about his brother, who had passed a few years earlier. And, you know, death is always kind of a deep subject, and there's a lot to say. And so that Im immediately sort of bonded us to each other in a, in a way that doesn't happen very often. Mm -hmm. So then we got to be friends, and he told me he liked my work. I told him I liked his work. And he said, How, would you like to collaborate with me and try to paint together? I said, yeah, you know, sure. I'm, I'm a person who loves collaboration, loves to work with other people. And so we tried it. And we started. And we started, started actually did the yes, first we painting. Yes, started with a very little format, with a little format. And we started to go very slowly through the process, one thing at a time, it took us another couple of weeks, and we tried to work slowly. It was a slow process, not so slow, but uh, that, that would say a few months. Yeah, yeah. And one day... We took baby steps. Yeah, and one day I said to Michael, we got to go big. Right. He right. said, what do you mean? I said, I want to be a, make a big one. And we decided to go here and uh, paint the passing, you know. Well, it was, it was fortuitous, and Rick had, had a big part in this, uh, right. because he said to us, I have a... I have a week, I have a spot for you guys, you know, where we could do something. And we weren't thinking that we were ready yet, but we said, you know, what the heck, let's go oh, for it. Sure. So Rick helped us build these huge stretchers. We had three panels that were about five by seven and a half. And a half. Turned out the painting was still 15, 15 feet wide. On that wall, right. we put them on, you know, buckets, and we brought in some paint, we mixed it up, and we invited people to and come yeah, in and watch it. It was a live painting, so a live painting for the first time in front of a lot of people. But I think the energy was there, you know, it was the time to do it. And it, went, uh, it was an extraordinary experience, because it was the first time to paint with somebody alive with a big format. And uh, everybody around was really very fascinated by this. And it was really the beginning of really the real painting the started beginning. there. Because yeah. after the passing, we didn't stop working. We had the visual passion in 1978 this summer. And uh, all collaboration with all different ideas. It was not just painting. It was, you know, environment, was performance, with all kinds of things. And we feed each other. That's what I found great with Michael. It's like we feed each other into new ideas. And we're all the time, like, progressing into a different level. So a lot of production. The first two years have been extraordinary. Yeah. A lot of production of very good paintings. And uh, we're very proud of this. Which is very difficult when you work with somebody to say, okay, this is my work with somebody. In general, an artist would say, this is my work. I don't want anybody to touch it. It's mine. And it's very and unusual it's to work toward an end, you know, to work toward a finish, because you have to agree mm -hmm. when the thing is finished. Right. And f even for individual artists, that's mm -hmm. one of the hardest things to right. do. And so we, as visual artists, sort of speak the same language. We, we kind of have a similar sensibility in our working style and our mm -hmm. process. And we talk. Yeah during the process, and we say, well, maybe we should add a little paper, maybe some collage would help, maybe this would be interesting, maybe we should go this direction. And that's not working, and this is okay, and this right. part I like, and this, we have to change that. And so it's a real, you know, it's symbiotic, it's a symbiotic yeah. oh, And it's really non-stop. We're exchanging, we're going back and forth. Sometimes we not agree on where we are, we just go back and forth. It's a, it's a very interesting uh, communication to, uh, to creativity, because it's extremely rare. That's too, you know, and... Uh, I didn't think it could ever happen, you know, like to have uh, this connection into like creating uh, pieces who are holding up very well together too. You know? Yeah, we're, we're actually very proud. And the, and the important thing to realize about this is that two artists get together and, and make a third artist, really create a third artist by, by behaving in their way and not being able to do the thing that we do without each other. Yeah. It really is creating a different level. You know, we have our work, individual work, who are very different, and when we put all this together, it becomes a third artist. So really, uh, our collaboration is a very different kind of work that we do together, you know. So we bringing all the energy, different energy, different creativity, creating a different world, you know. And this right, well, we want to invite people into the experience, because right. we feel that it, 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 it's such a... Um, 
it's such a unique experience for visual artists to work together. And we want, so we want people to witness that and, and, and be part of it. We haven't gotten to the point yet where we invite people to make marks on the, on the surface of the piece. But visual passion was a lot of, you know, when we just visual passion and we make this environment where people used to came and were able to, you know, to paint small canvas, we put it on the wall. They were a part of the, of the, of the work of the show. So really, is on the long run, if we have to see our collaboration, is to create an environment, a creating environment where people can be absorbed into the creative process and because it's, I think it's, you know, in one way it's done, the idea of having just a painting. We need to go to the next level. And, and getting back to the bigness that Gerard likes to do, <laughs> the, the passing was the piece that we did in here that we, that we did together, the first big piece. And then he said, well, I want to do something bigger. You know, I want to do something that's really <laughs> big and really involves you know, a lot of different things. I want right. poetry, I want film, I want everything in yeah. there. You know, every aspect of creativity. Right. And, um, and so we did this visual passion on love at 1978 and, and really transformed the room. I don't know if, if you were there, but if you saw it, but it really did have the sense of, you know, the 60s kind of happening right. thing, where we just kind of brought things in, we made environments, we made, we had performances, Everything. we had music, Everything. and we had, we invited the community to come in and paint on these uh, 12 by 12 inch canvases. Yeah. And we had how many, 70 of them or something? Yeah, 70 canvases, and we had poetry reading, we had a film night, we had music, you know, so really the idea is to expand just being just artist painter to be like complete artist and include everything. And this is not very easy because it was like a lot of work and a lot of, uh, you know, challenges to come to this level. So Death and love. <laughs> what can it be better than this in life, right? I mean, these are like the two poles. I mean, another thing that I have been working on this documentary for a long time, you know, good of taking footage everywhere about love. So when we talked with Michael, I said, let's find something. He said, why don't you take over really what you have been doing, working on this documentary and add something. So it was like a little bit of the beginning of what I've been doing, but we just fed and we did completely different than it was starting, right. you know. Well, also the, uh, the visual passion what it has become a brand really right. for us. And so visual passion was an idea that sort of came to us as a way of, exp we're, we're both very passionate about our work, we're both very passionate about life. I mean, we do things other than our regular normal day jobs. We do things that, you know, that, that really go above and beyond what most people do, and even if it doesn't have anything to do with art, we're out there, we're doing, we're, and, we're, and we're always like, you know, running around and going crazy. And um, that's what makes us alive, really. And of course, visual is, is, is visual, we're visual artists, and so visual passion works. Yeah, music is very important to both of us, I think, and, and uh, we made that part of the visual passion on purpose. We wanted to have live music and we always paint to music. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's ever a time when we don't go into, yeah. into the studio and put the music on. Right. So where I was doing pieces that were directly related to music, you know, now we just have, it's kind of random now. I, I, was, I had a connection to music that I wanted to express through the, through the visual work. But now we just have kind of music that we put, put on and paint to. Well, you know, I am, besides being a painter, I'm a filmmaker. I don't know if it's one more important than the other. But film or visual, it's all the integration of film inside this. What, you know, it's like, how oh, I'm going to take painting and put it in my film and vice versa. So film is all the time a part of what I am working. Not really as outside, but more as inside. More like, you know, maybe take this, whatever we have been doing. And hopefully, like, if I do, I'm working on, on the next work include this painting in my film more than, in, uh, than integrating the film in the painting do the opposite take the painting and you know obviously if i continue out working on this film on love i will integrate our work on visual passion on love because it's an expression of love it's an expression of a painter on love and then this will be integrated in the film so all this tied up together